any of those things. Okay. And then um, go ahead and get him started on the antibiotic. Also get him started on the ibuprofen. The ibuprofen is going to help with swelling. It's also going to help with discomfort. And if he needs to in about three hours, you can take that pain medicine. Okay. Um, we recommend kind of alternating the, the ibuprofen and the pain medicine at least for today. And then we want him to take ibuprofen the next couple of days, you know, four to five days. So that's going to help keep the swelling down. And okay. Help with. So take the ibuprofen the next four to five days. The um, the oxycontin or whatever. Just kind of take it as needed today. You might want to get him started on it um, in about three hours after you take ibuprofen. About three hours, so about noon. Yeah. And so the ibuprofen immediately. Mm -hmm. Okay. With, with the antibiotic, get something soft to eat first. Yogurt, pudding, jello, ice cream, shakes, smoothies. We recommend having something in the stomach prior to taking the medications. Right. Um, and then put softer foods, colder, softer things. Um, he is numb, he'll probably be numb into the evening. That's normal. So if you do like mashed potatoes or soup, just make sure that it's not too warm. More of like okay. a lukewarm, so he doesn't burn inside his mouth. If you did place sutures, they're dissolvable, so there's no need for you to come back and have them removed. Okay. Um, today we don't do any, any kind of rinsing or spitting. Tomorrow he can do some salt water rinses and it'll help dissolve those sutures. Okay. Um, today also if he gets a shake or a smoothie, we don't want him sucking through a straw, so he can just spoon it oh, in or drink it in. Mm -hmm. Alright, you got that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to quiz you at the end of this, so you have to remember everything I'm going over. Okay? <laughs> um, let's see. Today, I'm going to send you home with a couple of ice packs, so I want you to ice your face up as much as you can, um, 20 minutes on, 20 minutes in the fridge, as much as you can today and into the evening. That'll help keep the smelling down. Sleep with your head elevated above your heart the next couple of days. You can do that in a recliner like this or just prop up some pillows when he goes to sleep at night. Okay. Uh, so why can he start eating normal foods? You know, I'd wait softer foods for the next couple of days okay. and then kind of slowly go into chewing just whenever it seems to be whenever a little bit more comfortable. comfortable with it. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, macaroni and cheese, things like that, softer things. They doesn't really have to do a lot of chewing, you know, yeah. kind of progress into that. So, um, yeah, he loves baked potatoes. So he can ah, baked that's potatoes. pretty soft, so. Yeah. Unless you're like me and you forget them and then they stay in the oven and then they. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's see, there will kind of be a blood tinge to your saliva today. That's normal. Um, sometimes it looks like it's more than what it is because of the, the yeah. saliva in your mouth. Um, but if you notice that any of those extraction things are actively bleeding, or if it's just too much, you feeling like it's ear uncomfortable with the amount of blood that's in your mouth, take uh, the gauze, roll it up, apply pressure for 30 minutes, and then take the gauze out. There's a couple pieces of gauze in here. You just do that. Try to do a lot of in and out with the gauze. Sometimes that disrupts the blood clots. Okay. Okay. Avoid anything with seeds, nuts, chips, anything small, anything crunchy, until those ex extraction sites heal over. No popcorn. Um, yeah, no popcorn. No popcorn. I'm going to send you home with this. This is an irrigation syringe. This we don't yeah. want you to use for five days, but after five days, just fill this with some warm water. I want you to irrigate those extraction sites out. Um, this will just help flush anything small if it were to get caught down in there. Okay. All the information, plus there's quite a bit more in this book here. So just, just kind of reading through it. Our phone number's on the back if you have any questions or concerns. Perfect. We always have a doctor on call. Perfect. Okay. I will give you that. Do you have any right. questions? No, these are our third one this year, so. Oh, so you. Well, then, I didn't need to go through any of this with you guys. We're pros. Yeah. You're pros. <laughs> Reporter's not acting very funny. <laughs> well, he's been making okay. some funny faces, though, so. Yeah. Caleb's, Caleb wanted us, Caleb texted us, said, make sure you video that Porter said he's going to act funny. <laughs> he, he was walking really well a minute ago. That's you guys good. noticed that. <laughs> yeah, he, he did good. Good. Mellow, mellow when he went to sleep, mellow when he woke up. He's, he's, not, he's not being like those YouTube videos, is it? <laughs> yeah, I know. We talked about it a little bit before. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times you go to sleep kind of mellow, you wake up kind of mellow. Then you get those different ones. <laughs> yeah. A little it's, bit louder. It's funny. It's funny how it does it. Cause it seems like there's a... It seems like there's some kind of resemblance with everybody that they, when they get on the drug, the, uh -huh. whatever it is, it seems like they all have some similar mannerisms. I don't uh -huh. know what it is. Silly. When they wake up, yeah. The slurred boy. The uh -huh. slurred boy. Yeah. How are you feeling? Good. Good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No well, pain at all or a little bit? He's numb. He'll probably be numb into the evening. That's normal. Okay. Good six to eight hours. So about three hours of putting him oxycontin. Yeah, start with the antibiotic and ibuprofen. All right. And then, and then yeah, that will yeah. do it when we get home and then. 
Can you take a pill when you get home? Yeah. Yeah. Some, try to get something in your stomach. You're probably, probably a little hungry, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lots of fluids, lots of, lots of liquids. I'm going to go check with Dr. Porter, see if he has any special instructions. Are you seeing me clearly? Or am I blurry? Uh, how, uh, many, how many of me do you see? Uh, uh, yeah. Do you see like one and a half of me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He doesn't have contacts in too. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go check with Dr. Porter. I'll be right back. Well, let's just sit there for a few minutes. Yeah. So is this your first IV? Mm -hmm. How'd it go? Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. Didn't hurt or anything? Mm -hmm. It's good. Very good. Do you remember any of it? Do you remember falling asleep? Whoa. So did they, what did they do? Put the, the gas on you first? Mm -hmm. And then you start feeling good. Mm -hmm. And then... Did they, did they tell you you're going to start getting sleepy now? Or? Mm -hmm. Every time they do that to me, I try to see how long I can stay awake. But, uh, but the next thing you know, you're gone. And you <laughs> wake up and it's over. That's me, too. It's like, I'm going to see how late. Yeah. How long you stay up? Good. Well, I'm trying to do something goofy for Caleb so he's got something funny on his video. <laughs> 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 Did you get a picture of him? I didn't. Better get a picture of you for the blog. Okay.